Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the number of sides when we're given the measure of one interior angle. And the measure of our one interior angle is 144 degrees. And so to do this, I'm going to use our formula to how to find the measure of an interior angle, um, which was represented by i, is equal to n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. And remember, this has to be regular um, polygons that we're dealing with because all the interior angles are all going to be the same, as well as the, the measure of the sides are all going to be congruent. So n represents the number of sides, and that's what we need to figure out. The only thing we know is the measure of the interior angles, which is i. So to solve for this, I'm simply going to plug 144 degrees in for i, which represents the measure of one interior angle. And I drop my marker, so we'll use balloon back. So to do that, I will add 144 degrees equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. So now I need to solve for n. And when you have a variable inside parentheses as well as in the denominator, to solve for n, you've got to get it off the denominator as well as get it rid of outside of those parentheses. So the first thing we're going to do is let's get rid of it outside the parentheses. So to do that, I'll multiply by an n on both sides. And just note that n is in the numerator. Therefore, those divide to 1. And then here, I multiply on the left side. Now to get it outside the parentheses, I can apply the distributive property, because that's 180 degrees times the expression n minus 2. So I'm going to distribute that through. When I do that, I obtain 144 degrees n equals 180 degrees n minus 360 degrees. Now, to solve for n, I got rid of the n in the denominator as well as the n in the parentheses. Now I just need to get the n's to the same side. So to do that, I'll subtract 180 degrees n on both sides. And I get negative 36n equals negative 360 degrees. And again, remember by dividing, um, by getting our n, that's going to tell us the number of sides. So I divide by negative 36. And therefore, I get n equals 10. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we ha uh, when the measures of the interior angles are 144 degrees, we have a 10-sided polygon, which is a decagon. Thanks.